Dreamy's secret. Hello, Dreamy. What interesting thing are you doing there? I'm trying to decode the moon language. The moon language is dead. So far, no one has been able to decrypt it. It was banned for many years, and it was gradually forgotten. Only the meaning of individual symbols and words is known. <gasps> oh, how cool! And what does it say with such symbols? Ugh, oh, you're such a blonde. When it comes to science... <laughs> Watch out, everybody. You're much better thinking about boys. I'm also aware of scientific achievements about all kinds of breaking downs. And the encryption of the moon language, by the way. Breakthroughs, bestie. That's what I said. There's something in my magazine about that. So many adore me. Look here, girlies, an article about the world language of our breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Dream of being right here by my side. But it's you. You, my love, won't be... I want to tell you my magic secret, Dreamy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. You see, Dreamy, I am not only interested in boys, but also in breakoffs. What did you mean? Tertia, why was moon magic and moon language banned? Moon magic is strong and dangerous. For example, it can change the property of objects. Dramatically. So and that's, that's enough magic. extraneous talk for today. Subject of the lesson, practicing restoring spells. May I? This is a spell that helps repair damage and broken objects. Oh, where's my little magazine? Dreamy, did you take it? Oh, yeah. I have long dreamed of picking some kind of golden, fairy-tastic dress for myself. <sighs> Fix it, stitch it, come together, don't come undone ever. Well done, Letty. And I also developed... Thank you. Tell me next time. The lesson is over. You can all do your own thing. What about the moon book? Moon book? What's wrong with it? You took it and haven't returned it yet. I took it? Did I? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, that's right. I took it. Fairy and Scarum, what happened to it? It's as if it was doused with water. Where did Dreamy go? She flew so fast. Jeez, what was Letter mumbling? That's it! Fix it, stitch it, come together, and don't come undone ever! Feisty pasty, I didn't mean it literally! Come on, unstick! Oh, you silly magazine! <gasps> I didn't even have the time to read his name. And now not a single letter is visible. Letter. Letty! She's the one who will fix it! That's a piece of cake. Yeah, thanks. Wait a minute. This is Estee's magazine. Why do you need it? Well, you see, uh, the thing Everything is... Everything is clear. You are interested in the boy from the cover, and yet you laughed at Estee. And not yourself. <laughs> fell in love, fell in love. Now we all know your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at you now. <laughs> no, no one should know my secret. Now you need to repeat the same with the magazine. <sighs> Strange thing. Oh, yes, it works. Fix it, stitch it, come together, don't come undone ever. Case closed. Glue fragments, stick up the pages, let the form return to its original status. For some reason, it has not been corrected, and I can't find the reasonable explanation. Dreamy, confess. What did you do with the magazine? I was using moon spells to handle the magazine, so... This is the result of using data whose meaning is not available to you. Yes, yes, letter. I will never blah, 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 whatever you say. But do something, please. All right, now. Here you go. Look, 
a digital copy sent to print to our printer. Thank you, Letty. You are a true friend. analysis studied the spectra of the interaction of matter from which the magazine is made of what yes I found out what happened to the magazine magic disappeared from it but can this happen what do you have to do with all this wreckage it was me I made a scientific experiment you an experiment at least let me see if I can recommend something more useful no this is classified information oh god Will you tell me? Uh, leave me alone. This is my magazine. Dreamy, why did you take it? And and why is it so, so, so broken? Uh, okay. Brace yourself. Well, so, I thought that Letty would fix it, but she didn't succeed. Fantastic! Dreamy fell in love with a picky. That's great! Fairium scarum. Of course I'm not in love. I just just like the picture. Well, it's composition. Lights and shadows are spectacular. I generally like beautiful shots. Oh, I Look see. If I you're did. not in love you with like him, then you don't lover? want to meet him. Right? Really? Now meet him? Look at what I, I did. need him as much as an amoeba needs boots. No, this is a catastrophe. A rift in the force field of our house. Look at it. Fairy bummer. Fairy tasty. Beautiful. If there are many rifts like this one, then we will not be able to live here at all. The cause of its occurrence is microstress, or rather, excessive experiments on a person or fairy. What? Well, it's not me. Of course not you, but who's crazy about a cover here? Or maybe you didn't fit in any dress. Of course I do! I fit in all the dresses! Or Fancy. Where is Fancy? Hello, <laughs> do you like candy flowers? Fancy, <gasps> stop, stop! <laughs> Fancy! Fancy, what's wrong with you? Wake up! Phew. Glory to the Shimmer Fairy. You're safe and sound. First, no one looks at me. Then, everyone's in a rush. Oh, what's wrong with my candy flower? It wilted. All the magic was drawn from it. It's a miracle that Fancy didn't fall into this rift. It is urgent to eliminate this. Maybe we need to feed it. Fancy. Brilliant. Fancy. We use the law of multiplication of magical energy. Carry everything magical that you have, and I will bring my duplicator. It's all my fault. I should have dealt with decoding the moon language and not all sorts of stupid things. Look at the matter differently. If it weren't for your crush on that photo, we wouldn't even know about the crack. And it could have ended very badly. Yeah, we must quickly forget all of this. Hello, hello, who is Dreamy here? You wrote saying that you wanted to meet me. I appreciate all of my followers from the fairy net, and I meet with everyone personally, because my beauty needs to be seen firsthand. <laughs> hey, what a nice chat we had, but now I have to go to the next meeting, girls. Autographs next time. Kissy kissy. Bye bye. He's very strange. Really, he thinks he's such a big shot. 
And in the interview, he seems completely different. Sorry, Jamie. I wrote to him as if I were you. I didn't know that he was like that. Come on, never mind. How can I take the moon book from Dreamy if she's stuck to it all the time? me today. I hope it's four. Let it be four. Hmm? Hmm. And what is all this beauty about? Uh, no, you wait. Dreamy, hello. We're going to the movies. Would you come with us? She can't come with us. She's way too young. 14 years old? Young? Ha! What are you saying? Fairies under 16 cannot fly without a force field blah, blah, as much blah, blah. as you want it. <laughs> ah, this is Digit, my friend. He's a four, right? Anyway, we'll be with you in an hour and come up with something, okay? <laughs> what am I going to wear? What should I wear? Oh, how am I going to fly? Tertia! 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 Well, how can I open you? Oh! Ugh. Harry, Harry, where is she? Tertia! Mm. What's going on up there now? Tertia! Tertia! Where are you? What is the matter? Tertia! Eclair invited me to the movies! Digit said I'm too young to go! Can you somehow make me fly without a force field, huh? If I don't respond, it's because I'm busy. And yes, you are too young. You can fly without a force field when you turn 16. But... And only if you are serious about your studies. Well, whatever, you preacher mean teacher. I guess we're all too young. But I'll fly anyway. Jimmy, where are you going? Can I go with you? No. I'm going with Eclair to the movies. But, Dreamy, we can't fly without a force field yet. You know that. I know, but that's nonsense. You just really need to want it. Elves can fly since they're 12. I'm 14 already. Anyway, as of today, I'm an elf. Even better. I just need a flying machine. It's burning. Fresh out of the printer. Just fresh. Oh, isn't that something? How does it work exactly? Hmm. We'll find out now. What else do we need to know? On the fairy net, it clearly states a flying module for fairies. <laughs> uh -huh. It doesn't seem to fly very much. Dreamy. But this isn't the whole device. You only managed to print one part of it. You should also have wings, and it... <gasps> Stop sending messages. Let's just fly. How boring is this guy? Seriously, we're leaving. Be ready in 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, 20 minutes? 20 minutes? Letter, you have to think of something. Please do. I really need it. Okay, okay. No worries. We'll have time for it. Here is the flight module. This controls the wing. All control systems are located under the top panel. Module? Like the fashion module? This is cool! What does this pedal do? Ah! Wow! She is flying! Ah! Where are the brakes? Ah! Well, there's a special flat mount. It's only necessary to calculate the tension force. Hey guys, so I found the break. 
<clears throat> Dreamy, try not to be mad at Digit. He's actually a cool guy. We'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> Harry Fairies, he's gonna be here in 10 minutes. Hey, Dreamy, don't panic. We'll build a new module right away. Thanks, but no thanks. Enough of these kids' construction sets. I think it's time to do some adult magic. <laughs> but we're not adults. We're kids. Dreamy. Since when do you know how to make a magic spear? Ha! <laughs> well, it can't be that difficult, right? I saw Tertia do it a hundred times! Uh... Oh, hey, girls! What is it? Is a storm coming? Dreamy is constructing a fly tie spear. Very tastic! Look at that! It's working! Hmm? I'm flying! I'm really flying! <laughs> <laughs> I'm flying! Dreamy! Where are you? The ball ate her! No, no, Fanti. But the spear sent her somewhere. It could send her about anywhere. And we wouldn't know where. Uh... Harem, scarem. Where am I? How did I get thrown in here? Letter, SD, Fancy, Eclair. Over the wall, freedom's waiting. Down from the sky, the moon's gazing. I'm not a puppet. I heard her voice. Dreamy, I'm flying to you. She's in the ventilation. We need to go up two floors. Here, take the rope. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Magic doesn't work here. But this is real, not magical. Uh, uh. Team, so cool you thought of everything. Well, it was the only logical plan, of course. I wouldn't have been able to fly without you, and you wouldn't have found them without me. Very fantastic! You are real heroes, especially you. <laughs> Thank you, Letty. I have an interesting hypothesis about functionality. How boring! Another smarty pants. <gasps> the pattern that I saw in my dream today. We didn't make it to the <laughs> movies. <laughs> oh, no problem. I'll tell you everything in detail. <laughs> Broken 
dial. It's not working. What am I doing here? The mystery is not solved. Children don't obey. Preacher mean teacher. That's what I am. Why didn't I let her go through, though? Maybe out of meanness, indeed. <laughs> I'll make her a magic sphere. That way, at least someone will be fine. Dreamy, I thought that... <clears throat> as an exception, you could fly to the movies today with... No, no thanks. I actually already flew enough with the clear today. <laughs> hmm? Never mind. It's time for me to go anyway. <laughs> oh, yes. It's time for me to find the key. Unnecessary words. I'm tired of you Get dressed quickly. I hate everything. Late because of Scare you. Him. Scare him. What's going on? Nobody needs me anyway. Girls, <laughs> 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 look at the barometer. It's horrible, terrible. We're on the brink of total disaster. We urgently need to do something. Oh, maybe Tertia can help. But she will return the day after tomorrow. No time to wait. Harry, fairies, what happened? Oh, nothing. We're just close to the end of the world, but some. Fairies dream about boys all day long. Oh, Eclair, why don't you write to me, your beloved Trini Pooh? Bestie, here, Kate's emotional liability has increased dramatically. Say what? Kate is crying, quarreling with her parents. And even screaming. What's wrong with her? We don't know. But um, it's so easy to understand. It's because of freckles. Freckles are so weird. No, weirish. Kate's shoes are tight. She said it herself. Well, in my opinion, it's about grades. They're getting worse and worse. Grades, trades. Maybe Kate has an unhappy love. Okay, enough discussion. I'll help with Kate's settings. Fancy with shoes, SD with freckles, and dreamy. And I will make a great dream for Kate. We'll rock it. Her mood will skyrocket up. Hooray! Super helpers, rush to help Kate. Zoom! Here, Katie baby, I will sprinkle my powder on your pillow and you will not have a single freckle left. You will be pretty, pretty. Uh, toys, friends, cakes, eclairs. Wait, not at all, no eclairs. Buns, like this, yes. And that's all. Exercise we do together. Pull the insoles and socks together. Put your weight on your heel. Now to warm up is a deal. Let the textbook tell all the lessons and explain in great detail their essence. <gasps> Who's there? <gasps> hey, who are you? Come on, show yourself. Fly, cockroach, spider? Gotcha! Answer, who are you? Where are you from? What are you doing? Oh, let go! Wait, wait! I'm talking to you! Save yourselves if you can! Even if you cannot, still save yourselves! So that's what you are! Gigi, Bestie! Dreamy! Grab them! Catch them! Hold on! I'm in pursuit! Who are we hunting, Letter? I don't know who they are, but they're very suspicious. Help! 
I got it. I got I it. Hide. I'm holding it. <laughs> oh, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> it seems to me that these are creatures from the night world. They're so fast. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Confess, what do you want here? Are you evildoers? Who sent you? We won't let you harm our girls! Oh, how ghastly! Little things, tell us who you are. I know you are good, not harmful doers at all. I'm Gobbledygook. Gobble up who now? Alpha Polverons, Daguerreotype. Raymond! Hoo, hoo, hoo! We are words, unnecessary, rare, forgotten. People don't use us, and they abandoned us. Letter, why did you send us to chase them? Unnecessary words are what they are, unnecessary. Hmm, yeah. It looks like they're having nothing to do with what's going on. I'll go polish the buttons on Kate's dress. Poor things. Nobody needs you. But I need you. Truer than true. Fancy, have you forgotten about Kate's shoes? Oh, I will go now. We will play with you later. Kate, are you already home? How was your day? All is bad. What all is bad? In general, everything. These stupid shoes fall off my feet. I almost lost them. My freckles are gone. I only like some of my stupid face! <laughs> Poor Kate. Seems we didn't help her at all. <sighs> and Eclair hasn't written to me for two weeks. And nobody ever writes a line to me. I really and I, and I haven't become a great scientist yet. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to train for the repelling huh? spell. Exactly. Soon Tertia will return. I'll go and nail down something too, or she will cling on to me like a leech again. Very wary. Letter, look! Kate's phone. Let's take a look, huh? Somehow, this is not good. Come on, Letter. We're here to help. Come, you can see for yourself. It's about to bang. We'll have a typhoon here with special effects. Okay, let's do it. This program will scan her phone and analyze all messages and searches. See the most frequent search query. What if no one loves you and everyone just scolds you? Wow. Hello, kids. Here I am. You are so good. Very nice. Only our names are terribly complicated. Let's tell our names again. I am Fanti. I am Gobbledygook. Daguerreotype. <laughs> Raymond. Well done. And you have done well. I love you. I love you too. Oh, wait, are those actually your names? Kitty. Sweetheart, our pride. Little bird. But how can the words I love you and well done not be needed? They are really necessary. Good girl. Disket. Sweetheart. Poperones. Beauty. My treasure. Kiddo. Sweet pea. Primus. Oh, wait, wait, I can't deal with this alone. Dreamy, Letty, Essie. <laughs> I compared everything and came to a conclusion. Parents stop saying good words to Kate, and that is why she thinks that nobody needs her. But they really love her very much. People feel so bad without you, especially Kate. And it'll be closed curtains for us. All right, guys, you had a good run so far. You have to come back. <laughs> But we cannot return by ourselves. People need to hear or read us. Not necessary. Here, people just forgot about you. And we will help them remember. 
We will post you here and here. <laughs> like this. Oppa! <laughs> and you will go here. And you come here. And here. Letty is in touch. Over. I can hear you very well. <laughs> Hooray! All done! Hey, everything is ready. Let's have dinner. Oh, I forgot the bread. I was staring at my little Kate. What a beautiful girl you are. And what a clever girl. We are proud of you, Kitty. <laughs> hey, Mommy, Daddy, I love you so much. And we love you so much. Gobbledygook. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. I think I got the word wrong a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Was it my? I mean, our plan was great, huh? <laughs> right, girls? And I know how to return freckles! <laughs> Record a voice message. Listen, why are you lost? I, well, this is, in general, well, like... I uh, miss you. Hey! Shoot! Oh, uh -huh. Oh, Dreamy, it is you! It's great that you called. I miss you, too. I'll be there in five minutes. Fantastic, <laughs> Dreamy! I'm so happy for you! You're so pretty, such a cutie, so interesting me, you! Come on, what are you saying? A cutie, interestingly me? Sure, well it's, I don't know, you know? <laughs> Gobbledygook is a wordy and generally unintelligible jargon, usually hard to understand. Gobbledygook, it's easy! Daguerreotype is an old photograph on a metal plate. Polverones are shortbread cookies. I bet they're very necessary 